All right, everyone, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. I just want to make this video to help out other Corvette owners on how to change your spark plugs. I used some information from Corvette Forum. Also took some information from a C6 tutorial on how to remove uh, spark plugs and uh, also combined that with how to also looked up how to remove the fuse box and so i will also be going over that all three in one so i just combine everything for you guys and hopefully make this as easy as possible this video might be kind of random and all over the place but if you just watch it through it'll make sense hopefully and uh i'll cover everything so uh hopefully this helps let's get started all right everyone so this is how you change your spark plugs in a uh c7 2014 to 2019 um model year uh, as you can see i took out the computer uh, which i will probably go over how to take that out um, it's definitely a lot easier for me to explain it to you than you try to guess like what i did and uh probably spend an hour trying to take stuff out when i could just tell you so um i have been using these little pliers these aren't like specialty or anything but this is just what we had laying around the house so I've just been using these to grip the uh, metal uh, part of the spark plug uh, fuse wire or wire. Um, so anyways, I've been using those to pull that out. It's been really helping me um, because if you're trying to just pull on these, there are, some of them are extremely hard. The other side is, took me like, I don't know, two or three hours. And I've only been over here like 30 minutes so far or 20 minutes. And I've already gotten three done. I'm on the last one. I already got it loose. Still have to pull it out. Um, here's the old three right there from this side. I got my new one right here. Um, so if you can grab a tool to help you, or use a tool to help you grab these to pull it out, it's a lot easier. Try not to crush the metal part and damage the plastic underneath uh, right here. Um, I've just been leaving these in. I don't know what it looks like up above. I've just been pulling these out and then um, taking out the old spark plug, putting the new spark plug back in, and then pushing them back on. Um, so yeah, you just want to uh, just grab a, a ratchet uh, angle head helps. Um, got some swivel joints and stuff like that. Um, that's too small, but you got your swivel joints right here, which really helps. Some of them you might not be able to get without swivel joints. Um, I'm just been using, uh, what is this, half inch or something? I'm not too technical here, but um, I got the spark plug. I got two of these spark plug um, sockets. So uh, using those, um, I feel like I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Um, so take it, take out the spark plug, and then put the new one back in, and then uh, torque it down with the torque wrench at 15 pounds, and uh, hopefully I can get the uh, torque wrench in there. Um, this is gonna be the hardest one just because this thing is in the way I'm not sure how to take this out took the screw out, but I feel it's not coming out. So I'm just gonna try to do it with it um, still there um, So that's the hard side. You have to take the comp the, the fuse box out, which is right here um, so what you want to do is um, To remove the cover right here um, there's these four tabs right here. Just kind of pull these out and then um, kind of you can just kind of pry these out as well or take a screwdriver. What I kind of did is take a screwdriver and pried it just to get the cover off or I'm talking about the cover here. So you want to uh, pry the cover off, pull these tabs and get the side loose and then kind of pry the cover against here and then get the cover off. And then um, you want to... Uh, um, uncover this screw right here and unbolt the um, two right here which is connected so that lets you remove it because it's tied down and once you get those loose um, there's two screws right here one there and one right there and then that lets you lift it up and there's also a one in the middle uh, once you get that uh, fuse box off um, so once you get the cover off and this loose you can uh pry on these little tabs right here um where are they so the handles just pull up and it removes the fuse box so it it's down like this and it's like you can't 
can't move it. So you take a screwdriver in here. I think it was right in here. Basically just pry these little pieces back and then the handles lift up and then this whole thing just comes right out. And then once you get onto the bottom tray, which is right here, the one screw is in the middle. You wanna take that out. And then to take the uh, little computer things out right here, um, I started taking the whole thing apart, which is what you don't wanna do. It stays together in one piece. You basically just uh, pry it in the middle and then the whole thing just slides out each direction. So these three go this way, these two go that way, which I just remembered that I saw earlier, but I forgot about that. So you just basically put your screwdriver in these cracks right here, push it this way, push it this way, this way, this way, and that way. And then this whole thing comes out and then you got all this free space and it's amazing. So anyways, um, so that's kind of the gist of that side. And then uh, you're gonna wanna kind of just unclip this right here uh, there's a little clip right here and then a clip right here and then that whole computer comes out and then on the other side i hate these damn things who does this um, on the other side it's a lot harder because i didn't take anything out the first one is super easy second one uh, a little bit harder uh harder and then surprisingly the fourth one was easier to get to but i just used the pliers grabbed it pulled them out and then you hear a little clicking noise when you put it back in. Um, so that's mainly the gist of it. So I didn't take anything off of this side and then the other side, taking the computer off or whatever you want to call it, the fuse box. So hopefully this helps you out. Um, and uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope this greatly helps you out. Uh, save you some hours and some hassle. Kind of get a little dirty and beat up on your hands. Um, Got some skin missing around here and all puffed up right on the this knuckle right here or right on that muscle right there but anyways hopefully this helped you out and uh, happy corvette out there and uh if you, this helped you out give it a like subscribe and i will see you guys back here in the next one god bless have an awesome rest of your day peace out also i forgot to mention to disconnect the battery it says so in the little covers and stuff so to do that, you just remove this piece of carpet right here, flap that up, and then uh, kind of just lift this off or pull the whole thing off and then disconnect the, uh, I just went with this screw right here. I started to take that one off, but I said screw it. So I screw it back on and then put this, pull this one off and then just set it on a rag so it's not touching anything. The neutral or then the, whatever the black one is still connected. And it was sparking a little bit when I was pulling it off. So don't be alarmed. Don't get your car on fire. But I don't think that'll happen. Um, so anyways, everything goes off. The You'll tell when the lights turn off. And uh, yep, that's it. So just reverse the order to put it back together. And uh, all that other good stuff with the computer and stuff. So take pictures. Don't uh, forget what you did and how it was the way it was. But anyways, thanks for watching. Peace. And lastly, maybe you leave your windows down or leave the trunk open because if you close it with the car and power off, you're going to be in trouble. And then you'll have to take your key out of your key fob and then open it up manually um, down here somewhere. So anyways, just uh, leave the windows open or the trunk crack so you don't have trouble getting back into your car. All right, that should do it. Peace. All right, so I got everything back together here. Um like I was saying so to crack this um, you just push on these tabs right here and then the handle lifts up um, just like that I barely did it but um, that's how you get that up and lift it up but I'm gonna go ahead and start the car back up now that I got everything going and open the door just in case um, something goes wrong so I can turn it off real quick I'm not sure what that noise is, but it doesn't sound good. This vehicle is connected by OnStar to limited services. I'm not sure what the hell that noise is. It sounds like it's under the car and hopefully not the battery on catching on fire. So 
honestly it looks a lot better it was shaking really bad but now it's like i honestly feel like that has helped the spark plugs so i kind of want to go drive it right now even though i haven't taken a shower and i got grease all over me but it looks really promising and i hope this fixes my problem all right so i just got back from the test drive it seemed a lot better idling and riding i uh, have to go on the highway and test it out tomorrow um, or something because I'm excited to hopefully fix it but still feels like the uh, I guess when you let go off the throttle and kind of just coast it out it feels like there's still a little bit of roughness but a lot better um, but to get that last um, to get that last spark plug out I had to use all or to torque it down I had to use this ginormous um, extension with three swivels um, this is a socket swivel, but these two swivels, um, in between, in a different order, of course, with the torque wrench, but it was ridiculous, but I got it. One of the most proudest things I've ever done in my life, but that is the video, and hopefully this helped you guys out. Sorry, there's extra at the end of the video, but, uh, we'll see what actually makes it into the video, but thanks for watching, and hopefully this helped, and, uh, I was gonna say something else, but I forgot. Um, maybe when you turn your car back on, just hold the start button and not hit the brake to get everything cycled through. Give it a couple tries, but, um, there was some, something I want to tell you guys. Oh, I didn't put any grease or anything on the spark plugs or in the boots or whatever. So I'm not sure that that's something you can do if you want. Still feel like I'm missing something, but anyways, um, hopefully this helps you out. Thanks guys. Peace. I think the thing that I wanted to uh, inform you about was when you push in the, uh, once you get the spark plug back in and you go to push the boot back on, you'll hear a clicking noise and then you can also kind of pull on it a little bit to make sure it doesn't come back off. But once you hear the clicking noise, you'll be good. And uh, to get it off, yeah, you just don't want to smash it with uh, any pliers or anything, but um, if you wiggle it, it does help, twisting it helps, and pulling and twisting helps. but you're just going to have to use a lot of force, and the pliers do help extremely a lot. So that might have been all of it. Hopefully I didn't miss anything, but that'll do it. Peace out. All right, so I did want to show you all the old spark plugs just to show you that I'm legit. Um, I don't know if any of them are bad or whatnot, but anyways, just want to show you that. So you know I am for realsies, and uh, I did want to say build not bought, baby. Let's go.